हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ एलिया आर सांदनी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फर्दर पार्ट फॉर नॉइज कैलकुलेशन पार्ट टू सो दीज आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस टॉपिक वी कैन कंप्यूट नॉइज कैलकुलेशन एंड सिग्नल टू नॉइज रेशो ऑल्सो वी हैव seen effect of noise and different types of noises so noise calculations as we have seen in the first part of noise calculations noise calculation can be done by considering these four different methods in the first part we have seen resistance in series and parallel noise calculation noise calculation can be done by reactance and equivalent noise bandwidth today in this lecture we are going to see the third and the fourth part or the fourth method third and the fourth method which includes noise calculation due to equivalent noise resistance and noise calculation due to the several amplifiers when connected in c in cascade so equivalent noise calculation can be done by considering a tuned circuit so this is the third method which we are going to see in this as you can see there is a rlc tuned circuit which is given by this circuit there is a resistance inductor and capacitance and then there is a supply given hence consider the noise generating component in is the resistor which is in series with the coil here what we are considering is there is a resistor which is generating a noise and this resistance is connected in series with the capacitor and the inductor hence noise bandwidth is restricted to bandwidth of resonance of coil so the bandwidth for this circuit basically it is equivalent to the bandwidth of resonance of the coil in series circuit the voltage across the capacitance is q times the applied voltage hence it is given by ec square is equal to q q square into en square so ec square that is the voltage across the capacitance is given by q square by putting up the value of en square that is rms noise voltage value which we have calculated in the first part which is given by 4r kt bandwidth hence it is given by the final equation as vn square is equal to 4q square r into kt bandwidth so q is the the q is the quality factor r is the total resistance of the circuit of the rlc circuit k is boltzmann constant t is again the temperature and b is the effective bandwidth by further simplifying by taking the square root we can see that the all other all the terms come under the square root as the circuit is tuned to the dynamic resistance as the as the circuit is tuned hence the dynamic resistance is given by q square into r where q is very much higher so the dynamic resistance equation can be given as rd is equal to q square into r <coughs> further by putting up the resistance value as the dynamic resistance in the rms noise voltage we are putting up the resistance value as dynamic resistance so it is given by en square is equal to rd we are replacing the total resistance by the dynamic resistance kt bandwidth the fourth part or the fourth method by which we can calculate noise cal uh, by which we can calculate noise is noise calculation done due to the several amplifiers connected in in cascade so as you can see there are two amplifiers a1 and a2 where a1 basically denotes the first gain for the first amplifier a2 denotes the gain of second amplifier r1 r2 and r3 are the resistors which are connected in parallel so as the volt so as the supply gain of first amplifier is given by a1 gain of second amplifier by default it is given by a2 the first stage has 
a total input noise resistance as R1 which is given as here. Second stage has R2 which is given as here. The RMS noise voltage at the output due to R3. So we are going to calculate the RMS noise voltage at the output resistance which is nothing but R3 at this point it is given by En square is equal to root of 4 kT bandwidth into R as we are taking the voltage across R3 resistance. If R3 is replaced by R3 dash at the input of second stage then RMS at the input of second stage can be given by En3 dash is equal to En3 divided by A2 where En3 we are having the value or equation of En3 as root of 4 kT bandwidth into R3 divided by A2 where A2 is the gain of the second amplifier. Hence the final equation for the RMS noise voltage due to the R3 dash resistance is given by En3 dash is equal to root of 4 kT bandwidth into R3 dash. So R3 dash can be given as R3 dash is equal to R3 that is the output resistance divided by A2 square that is gain, gain of uh, square of the gain of second amplifier. The equivalent output resistance of the circuit is given by R EQ, EQ is equal to R2 plus R3 dash. Hence by putting up the value of R3 dash we are having R2 plus R3 divided by A2 square. R equivalent is given by R1 plus R2 dash. Hence the R equivalent for the total circuit is given by R1 plus R2 divided by A1 square plus R3 A1 square into A2 square where A1 and A2 are the gain of amplifier 1 and amplifier 2. Signal to noise ratio basically it is termed it is a term which is used to check the performance of communication system and the receiver. Signal to noise ratio is simply a number which basically indicates the strength of signal and noise. When signal is strong noise will be weak and the signal to noise ratio is high. When signal to noise ratio is low the reception of the signal is very less at the receiving side. So how signal to noise ratio is defined? It is defined as the ratio of signal to signal power to noise power at the same point and is basically given by the equation as S by N ratio E2 square by R E N square by R. Hence the final equation is given by E S upon E N total bracket square. So in terms of log it is given by twice uh, it is given by uh, in terms of decibels it is given by S by N dB is equal to 20 log E S by E N. So effect of amplification on signal to noise ratio. So there are certain considerations which have to be done for the signal to noise ratio in that first one is the effect of amplification when the signal is amplified how it will affect the signal to noise ratio. Noise resistance of mixer stage at a super heterodyne receiver is very much high. Hence strong signal is required to maintain SNR. For weak signals first the signals are amplified by an RF amplifier and then the signal is given as input to the mixer stage. But the RF amplifier has to be a low noise amplifier otherwise the signal to noise ratio will not be improved. So signal to noise ratio here when the signals are received by the antenna and then given as input to the RF amplifier stage the output of this stage is then applied to the input to the mixer which is shown at this point. So let Rn m be the equivalent resistance of the mixer at the at its input the mean square noise voltage across Rn m is given by V n m square. Similarly, RNA be the equivalent noise resistance of the amplifier. Hence, the voltage across the resistance is given by VNA square. The circuit is then replaced as the Thevenin circuit which has the two components VTH and RTH. The mixer noise voltage VN 
n square at the output of the amplifier is basically given by vnm square by a square where a is the gain of the amplifier hence the at the input of amplifier where a is gain of amplifier the total noise resistance the the total noise for the amplifier is given by vn square is equal to vna square that is square of the voltage across the amplifier as well as the mixer stage is given by vnm square by a square and the signal to noise ratio for this is given by s by n is equal to v square th by 4 rth plus rna plus rnm by a square into kt bandwidth so this is the equation for the amplified signal effect of amplification uh, done for the SNR. So effect of cascade connection on SNR in communication system, networks are connected in cascade. Hence overall SNR of the cascade is always less than that of one in the network. Hence considering the communication network connected in cascade, let PS be the signal power. Hence the noise power of the links are given by PN1, PN2 and so on. Hence, the overall SNR at the output is given by 10 log PS upon PN1 plus PN2 and so on. If the links are identical, hence all the power becomes identical, which is shown in this equation. Overall SNR for this particular condition is given by P upon M plus N. Hence, further it is, further it is given by S by N dB is equal to 10 to the log, uh, 10 log to the M. Hence, if we consider that three uh, identical links, each of them uh, are having the SNR as 60 dB are connected in cascade. By considering this equation, we are having the value of 55.22 dB. Hence, if the SNR of any one link is much less than that of other connected in cascade, the overall SNR of the uh, links is nearly equal to SNR of link smaller values. So these are the references for you people for the further study. Thank you for watching the video.